Hi students. Today we're talking about integrating visual arts and language arts. Your first response is probably, well obviously, with children's books we have all those illustrations where we have the characters and the, the scenery, the backdrop. Uh, we know exactly what that setting is all about, mostly because we're accustomed to beautiful illustrations that help us along. Our children can benefit tremendously by illustrating their work and as I worked with the Title I students I found that it was very difficult to get them to write but it was never difficult to get them to draw. So I used visual arts a lot in developing language skills. One unit I used to do every single year was a poetry unit. We made books. We all made our own books and we wrote bio poems, in canes, haiku, color poems, shape poems, diamante, acrostics. We really got into poetry. Uh, we even made books on the four seasons. Uh, we always did a book about all about me. And this was a great way to motivate students to write because I would typically have them write the words first and then they could illustrate. One of the projects that I have I use in the computer class and I actually included it in the class. Uh, it's a great project by the way if you're a sub teacher. Just keep that in your back pocket because it's a wonderful uh, activity to do with all ages and if your master teacher hasn't left you with decent sub plans uh, pull out your poetry unit. A uh, bio poem is one of the, the forms that we used to use frequently and I use it in the computer class but basically it helps students become more colorful and descriptive with their their language and of course oops, I'll back up there and you can use your self-portrait uh, to go along with that bio, bio poem. Um, another one, Diamante, is great. We take a look at different parts of speech. What is a noun? Uh, what is a participle? Uh, antonym. Basically, these are wonderful exercises. You can do those brainstorming together as a full class. You can have them work alone. Uh, but oftentimes, these are motivating in terms of developing more colorful, descriptive language. Uh, here are some examples. These actually come from ages ago. As This is pre-Windows, but you can see that my students did a lot of writing of poetry, and a lot of this is haiku. Some of it goes with we had an annual Earth Week and, and an International Week. Uh, I had students do the newspaper and we outlawed clip art. You could only do your own illustrations. So oftentimes students did their own illustrations. Uh, up on the top left, we, Read to Me, Dragon and Knights, we actually told our own fairy tales and illustrated those. So writing and poetry go beautifully together. Uh, Social studies is great. For instance, here's these are fourth grade missions that we did with an old program called Hyper Studio. And of course, we did our Indian villages with, with sculpture. Um, and we always used uh, lots of writing prompts and then, of course, illustrated them as well in our notebooks. Uh, we had a fifth grade uh, Revolutionary War unit where we actually did a musical play, performance, all kinds of activities in all the fifth grades and we did the ABC's of the Revolutionary War and all the students did their own illustrations, did their own research, located maps online and it was quite an extensive and intensive project. I love to find other poetry too. This is a, an example of a poem I used to use where I had sentence strips and and each person took over a couplet so they had to bring some life to these words. Some words clink as ice in a drink and one person would illustrate that. Some move with grace, a dance, a lace. Some words are hot, fire, flame, and shot. So the students would illustrate those. In addition, we actually did a performance of these and each person did their couplet and uh, actually performed and brought these words to life. So any kinds of poetry, we used to act out every Shell Silverstein that there was, I think. Um, as you go into your self-portraits, this is just another example of, of what I did in a, in a, I think I believe I did this in Picasa, the Google free photo editor where I just did all types of different photo edits of a photo of myself and then put them together as a collage. Now this is um, 
this is actually something I did as a front and a back of a journal uh, for a literacy class. Uh, basically, we I used to participate in the California Reading and Lit Project, and one of the first things we would do is we would introduce ourselves by everyone creating a tile or a quilt patch, a piece uh, that we would put together, and oftentimes we would do that with tear art, no words, just uh, using shapes or we'd have different types of items that we could use to decorate our patchwork. Uh, so this is the same idea. It, this is just a little decoupage on a stenographer's notebook book. And as it turned out, one day I was looking at my notebook and I thought, I was trying to depict two sides of myself, one, the one who loves Renaissance music and performs as a musician, the other who loves pia uh, uh, loves computers, and you can see I, I found an old chip and a CD, and I basically just decoupaged these sides, of my, these front and back of the journal, and when I ended up matting them and framing them, they looked pretty good, so I kept them. Um, masks are another great way to uh, do a self-portrait mask and use uh, three-dimensional work in a different media.